Right, everybody. Thought I'd show you where I keep in this one. It's a little traditional fire kit. Fair seam rod. Pine handle. It's quite resiny, resiny the handle. This one is bent washers and a lanyard. That's off uh, Mad Dog Survival. It's a little leather pouch. And a little cotton pouch. See there? It's a little divider in there. Go for this first. Got the kettle on, as you do. Give me that there. Little tin. Got some char cloth. A couple of bits of flint. Some amadou. Some horse foos. Horse hoof fungus. Some little bits of pine resin. Yeah. It's a bit of pine wood. Char cloth. Big sea steel in that one. Flint. More flint, look. A bit more amadou. I say that's a hundred percent cotton, sort of like naturally sourced bought, you know what I mean? Those little bags, I think they're wedding gift bags or something. Oh, that's me flint and iron. Little leather pouch. It's got a little striker on it, type of thing. Friendly Swede, I can't remember where I got that from. A mag block, I think. Inside the leather pouch. It's only a small little thing. Again, bought some, uh, some little cotton bag. Some of last year's uh, birch. That's the birch that we get up here, right? And that other thick stuff. Etsy. I got it from a place on, on Etsy. That's just like, I've just got birch bark in there and... Bits of jute twine. That's what I keep in that one. That's one little traditional fire set. Yeah, right, but I just want to. I've got uh, Newt, Newt, Newt Mad at the minute. Jute, rope, and bits of sacking, and then uncharred. And then that's char cloth, that's my own char cloth, that is. And beeswax, you scrape that up, you can get it to get a spark on that. And wax, beeswax, and. Uh, Char cloth. The idea, you know what I mean? It'll burn, you should. Yeah, you, know, you get it right. And this. I say, look. That's that birch bark I was given. It's substantial. And then, uh, again, some of last year's birch bark, that's what we get up here. That's just birch bark and that in there. Right, so those technically belong with this. That's just my fire bag. That's just a uh, hood off an old barber jacket type thing. Not barber barber, but an old wax jacket. I can get both hands in there. In case it's windy. You've seen that. 
Bloody there. Another one of those little cotton bags. Kettle's boiling, so I'm just going to get us boiling one second. Safety is paramount. Second, let me get this sorted. Go. I'm on a gas stove, that's why I run off. CPCP, one mark, mark one mugs, best mugs in the bloody world. They are right. You should see my original one, my one, off my water bottle. Hacky black, it was the wife threw it out. Which is a quick one. That's a Pathfinder lids. I get them from Heine Hands, about four pound each. Not perfect, but back to this traditional fire kit. Sorry for the interlude. Another one of those cotton bags. Are you buying tens or something for a couple of quid or something? Wedding presents or something? I don't know. In there, it's uh, pine resin, not pine wood, that's pine resin. A bit more of that amadou, I think it come out of a kit. And like I say, in there, some of my uh, char cloth. Like I say, the way through up me metal mug, I had it one in a box. I put the box under the cupboard, she hadn't seen it for ages. She says, I threw all that burnt stuff out. Oh my buddy. Anyway, fat wood. Some hay, I think from a pet shop. There's some, there's some dry lint in the bottom of there. That's Mad Dog Survival Char Cloth. Far superior than mine. It's brilliant stuff that char cloth. His netting's even better. Well, oh, I don't know, but it's good. These netting is good. Horses for courses, right? The netting gives you um, a bigger ember and a longer, does last longer, does last longer, does last longer. More ammo do. Uh, more mad dog, bits of uh, char cloth, bit of uh, jute netting. Couple of bits of flint in there. Okay, that's just like a leather, one of those leather man purses. So, a couple of chunks of flint on the bottom. A bit of extra, like bird's nest, if you like, all in one bird's nest there. And a sea steel. Well, I don't know if it's a sea steel, is that a traditional one? That's what I generally. But I've got a better one. Uh, Fella, see you more. Just you just see that, but now uh, just keep. Give it out there. Some of that birch bog that was given to me. Some fat wood, and down in the bottom, right in the bottom of there. There's some packing straw. That, that one and just before quickly before I run out I say I showed you that that's the one I just got off my dog survival I want another one of these it's the striker bit of his new jute netting some flint a bit more uh, uncharred netting and there's a bit of uh, cotton cloth in there I love that set. This is the set now, like I said. That's the set I'm going to start carrying about with me and uh, banging on stones and that as you do. But I've <laughs> I've been there uh, chipping away like a um, demented flint flint napper. 
Or trying to rough up the edge on the uh, steel, you know what I'm talking about, Andy, you know what I mean? I think they work better, better off the world, you know what I mean? Like if for the same word, you get those little imperfection dents and that. I think that helps. That's been um, traditional fire kits. Love them. You want to start making more of them, Andy? Because they're brilliant, mate. That's proper bushcrafting, that is.